I'm sorry, Mom. I'm sorry, Dad. I made a video game I can explain in less than 30 minutes. Hi, I'm Tim Rogers, founder and director of Action Button Entertainment. You might remember me from such games as Ziggurat and 10x8. What you're seeing is not green screen trickery. We're really in my house. I'm not in jail. This here is a Pembroke Welsh Corgi. According to Wikipedia, it's some kind of mammal. People love these goofy things. They take Instagram photos of them. They upload YouTube videos of them. We happens to have one lying around the office, so I figured I gotta monetize that. We locked this animal here in a room full of computers and a box of Captain Crunch, and the rest is history. Puppy, 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 puppy. The game is Tuffy the Corgi and the Tower of Bones. Tuffy is a corgi. Tuffy is on an adventure. Tuffy is excited to be on this adventure. Tuffy runs automatically. Touch the left side of the screen or any of the buttons on the left-hand side of your PlayStation Vita interactive electronic entertainment device to turn. Touch the right side of the screen or press any of the buttons on the right-hand side of your PlayStation Vita interactive electronic entertainment device to jump. Turn and jump and climb the Tower of Bones. Collect as many of the 108 bones as you can on the way to the top. What's up there? I'm not gonna tell you. That would be a spoiler. People are always asking me if I've played Dark Souls. Of course I've played Dark Souls. What do I look like? It's great. I'd go so far as to say it's one of the best games I've ever played. Having said that, I've lifted a lot of weights, and I've also seen true fear, so I needed something harder. Tuffy the Corgi in the Tower of Bones is an action game. You run and jump. However, it's also an adventure. You think and explore. On top of that, it's a challenge. Touch anything and it's game over. Can you get to the top of the tower with all 108 bones? I don't think you can. Can I get to the top of the tower with all 108 bones? Don't ask me that. It's you in there. It's you. How'd you get in there? Tuffy the Corgi and the Tower of Bones has only one level. First of all, that's all you need. Second of all, we didn't want to make a level select menu. Programmer Michael Kerwin estimated that would be an extra 24 hours of work. And I don't have 24 hours. I need the money now. How'd it feel to work on Tuffy the Corgi? So easy. Tuffy made the whole thing. Yeah, I only supervised. You're my favorite dog. I'm going to be honest with you. We made this game in six days. Imagine what we could do with 16 days. Would you like to kickstart a 16 day game by us? If so, buy this one or find my house. I'm not going to tell you where it is. You're going to have to find it. Leave some money under the pile of newspapers on my front porch. Sooner or later, I'm going to have to admit to myself that I accidentally subscribed to the newspaper. When I was 10 years old, my grandmother accidentally wrote me a birthday check for $50 instead of five. The remarkable part is that she wrote 50 F-I-F-T-Y. I bought Super Mario Brothers 3, and I played that game every year on my birthday, all the way from the beginning to all the way to the end, playing every single stage until my 25th birthday, when I managed to beat that game in one life without taking a single hit, every stage. I thought to myself when I did that, first of all, I'm pretty cool. I also thought, I want to make a game like this someday, preferably within 10 years. Next week is my 35th birthday, so we had to act fast. Also, I need the money now, because my grandmother's been dead for 20 years. If you can guide Tuffy to the top of the tower with all 108 bones and send me a screenshot, I will personally grant you permission to wear sunglasses to bed every night for the rest of your life. I guarantee it. Tuffy the Corgi and the Tower of Bones. Available now for PlayStation Vita on the PlayStation Mobile platform. Check it out. Everybody's gonna love it. In fact, I think somebody already does. Hey, what game you playing? How do I turn it on?